Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Late Nights with Steam Punk Cutie. How are all my fellow mechanicals doing today, tomorrow, whatever time zone it is for you? I hope you're all happy, healthy, and well. Um, it's been a while, right? Um, it's been my normal weekend, which I don't stream uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. But Friday, I don't know what happened Friday. Friday was busy. I had to cancel. Lost power yesterday. Couldn't stream then. So, and yeah, it's just been crazy busy. I've had um, graduations and running around and, you know, just daily life. So, uh, streaming had to take a back seat for a quick minute. So, hopefully, I'm pretty sure it's going to be. Summer is going to be crazy, so my schedule might have to change. But um, other than that, I'm going to try my best to, you know, do things. So um, tonight, I'm waiting for my glue gun to... Well, hello there. How are you, darts? Welcome. It's been a while. I know, I know. I normally don't stream Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. But things and, work and life happens, you know. So... <laughs> power was out until like four or five in the morning i was like damn and they said it was supposed to be back by two and i was like well if it gets on by two i could still stream a little late but I could still stream but no my internet was down too so obviously <laughs> but every time my power goes out my internet does not seem to work at all when the power goes back you know like gets back the internet just like it takes a day for it to like i don't know it's stupid Anywho, how are you? Welcome, 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 welcome. Good to read your your face or your comment. <laughs> I don't know. It's not really your face because I can't see it, but you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> read your name. <laughs> My face. I know, right? <laughs> what? What? I don't know. I'm on a roll tonight. Today I'm. Above normal. <laughs> see your, yeah, you see mine, but I can't see yours. <laughs> Slick, you know, just kidding. <laughs> We're doing fairies, gnomes, and mermaids. I'm gonna try because it's almost summer, almost. Um, I'm gonna try to get some mermaids out. Uh, mermaids are a little more complicated, but I'm gonna change some things and see if I can figure out a different method. Um, because the way that I've been doing it has been like a little more, a little more material, and I don't want to really use a lot more material like, since everything is going up. So I'm gonna try to redo it in a way that's not. You know what I'm saying? I think you get it. Hopefully you get it. If not, uh, let me try to re-explain. I can re-explain. And then I've got to make some 4th of July fairies. Got to make the red, white, and blues. So I brought red, white, and blue glitter because why not, right? Um, I only have one patriotic fairy. Um, and I don't really like her. Isn't that sad? There's an actual fairy I don't like. There's a few fairies I don't like. But, you know, um, somebody might like them. I just don't mesh with them. They're not, they're, they just don't, you know, they don't suit me. And I was going to make a gnome, a big gnome. I'm going to make a mini one right here. But I can't find my gnome supplies for the big ones. Like this one. Because I was going to make... One like this, only in uh, like a big size like this guy, um, but only for graduation. I have to make centerpieces for a table. So I was going to have two gnomes on because I only have two tables. So I'm going to have two gnomes and. Um, yeah, and I was going to have them like graduated, obviously, and um, caps and everything, but. I can't find the nose, and I can't, and I can't find the supplies for it. I found the beard. That that's all that matters, right? But yeah, hopefully tomorrow I will be able to do those because um, 
Yeah. Yeah. Anywho, so um, I have the beard. I have the socks. I just don't have the the nose. I don't know what happened to it. Unless I could use the fairy head for the nose. I'm not sure, though. It might be okay. Um, it might not be. I guess we could play around. Because I, I do need to make, like I said, two graduation gnomes for the table. I thought that would be a cute centerpiece. And they're holding up the sign that says, we did it or something. Or some crap like that. I don't know. Um, Glitch graduated from middle school. So she's on to high school. Big stuff. So we're throwing her a party this weekend. And that's what I've been doing too. I've been crazy busy with all of these things. But anyway. You didn't hear me blab, right? You didn't come here to hear me blab. Glue gun should be ready. Oh, yeah, a little bit more. You know? Oh, and I also found some beautiful paper. Holiday paper. I know, right? Isn't it exciting? High school. <laughs> I hated high school with a passion, but I hope her experience is much better than mine. <laughs> I hated it worth a crap, but... Anywho, <laughs> so, um, I've got some paper today. Uh, they've got some new holiday paper. So I've got Halloween, Christmas, and Fourth of July, of course. So, um, they're double sided, which I'm really excited about because a lot of the paper is not double sided, but this is excellent because I could do do things that are double-sided and I'm doing Christmas now because Christmas in July is coming up and that's when they get all of the Christmas stuff out and and I know I know it's Christmas I know I know guys I know it's like July right let me hear me out as a crafter they come out with all of the almost all of the stuff for Christmas, like in July, right? So that's the time to buy for your Christmas like season. Because by the time Christmas comes, none of the stuff is around anymore. It's all gone. <laughs> so you know what I mean? Hey. A long time since I've been here. I know. How are you? Welcome in, Adassa. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. How are you? Where have you been? What have you been up to? How's it hanging? <laughs> All of the above. Just like pound you with 50 questions right at the beginning. I'm sorry. I don't mean to bombard you. <laughs> you can answer it in your own time, leisurely. Leisure at your own, you know, leisure. <laughs> but I'm going to show you guys the paper real quick. Before I, I'm going to wait for my glue gun heat up just a smidge more because it's still like um oh no and then uh wait, 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 wait. i got covid then and it's late at this time. oh yeah so i see you on when i'm about to go to bed no i hear you i am a later a later i'm an <laughs> i'm a late one I did think about like doing it early, you know what I mean? But then I, but my brain does not function like during the day. Like I have no like no creative nothing in me. I don't know what it is. I think I I I think I am better at night. Okay, one, I know. <laughs> Do it on your own time, right? I, I just, I don't know. I just can't do it during the day. I can't. I don't know. Because, see, I wanted to do a morning one um, to get people, like, try to, like, you know, to get people the morning crowd or the morning, evening, you know, afternoon crowd. But I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Um, But I am going to show you the paper I got. I'm really excited about it. So, I have to show you. Regardless if you like it or not, you're going to be shown. Okay? So, 
Look at this candy cane paper. Also, I also have been not creative. Also been reading on my free time, free night time. Oh, have you? What have you been reading? Cause see, I feel like my creative juices. I feel like I feel I feel like I'm doing the same thing, even though this is like my thing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just I I want to expand my crafting, but it's like I'm like. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm stuck. So I've been watching TV, a lot of TV shows, rewatching TV shows, not not just new ones. I did watch a new one. I don't know if I. I don't. It's okay. It was not the greatest. Web comics mostly. Then I look up and it's bedtime. Oh, well that's good though, right? At least it's something you're into at the moment, right? Licks paper. Oh yeah, you gotta lick it, right? Ah, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> candy canes man who doesn't like it but the best part about this i know i'm weird it's okay y'all love me anyway right but the best part about this is look at look at look at look at uh oh uh oh look at how glittery <laughs> tell me that ain't awesome and when you flip it over christmas reeves isn't that cool i love double-sided paper look at that so pretty. So I got two of these. They're like. <laughs> I do love my glitter. Just a little bit too much. I um. What did I do? What did I do the other day? Oh yeah. I was um trying. Okay. I went to the store that I buy my glitter at. And I, of course I was trying on. Because I was trying to pick. Because it's $20 a jar right. Which is expensive, but it lasts forever. Like for me, it lasts quite a while, and I like glitter, right? A little goes a long way. So I put it. So the lady was putting it on my hands to like try out. It is expensive. Yes, it is expensive. Twenty dollars is expensive for sure, but it's worth it. Every damn penny. Like this stuff does. N I was about to say other words, but this stuff does not come off. You have to use a lint roller to get it off you. That's how like well it sticks, and is just so sparkly and so beautiful. Like it's like ah, uh, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? So I love it so much. It's totally worth it. And uh, I was trying it on because I was trying to decide which one I wanted to go with this time because I have almost all the colors, but I was debating on purple or. Um, uh, arid like an iridescent disco ball type look. So I was like, "Eeny weeny miny mo, catch a what a by the what toe." And um, I went with the dark purple because it was just so beautiful. <laughs> and I like went like this, <laughs> forgetting like later on I went forget that I had glitter on my hand. I don't know why I didn't. I forgot. It's like freaking. On my hand, like you could clearly see it. It's not that I didn't see it, and I went like this. And then next thing you know, my nose had glitter right all right here. It's like a glitter stash. And then this hand, I went like this. And then next thing I know, I had glitter here. And then um, I went like this. And then I went like itch. You know how you don't normally itch places. Next thing I know, I had glitter from the head and everywhere, all over. And I was like, and it. All my stuff in my hand was gone. I was like, where did my glitter go? And then I went into the bathroom at home and I looked at myself and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> and I was like, I can't get this off. And I was trying to, I was using the lint brush, lint roller to get it all off, like all over and every, oh my gosh, it was a mess. And then like, I went into bed and the blankets had glitter all over it. The bed had glitter all over it. Um. You know my pain. Not that I'm complaining. I'm not complaining at all. But <laughs> you just forget. Like, okay. And then Glitch had glitter all over her, too. Because, you know, I had to rub that shit all over her, you know. And <laughs> she was like... Anywho. It was fun times. Fun times. Now, you all know I don't like spiders, right? Um. However, this paper is super cute. Look how adorable this paper is. 
Look at. And it's got the copper shiny bits. Look at that. <gasps> Look at the tiny little tiny little spiders. Look how cute. And then spider web background. Isn't that cool? Like I could cut a piece of this, put them on the web. I think that would be adorable. So I got two of those too because why not, right? And then, of course, fireworks, because it's almost 4th of July. I was thinking of making earrings, paper earrings with these. Um, my paper earrings have been actually, they turned, so far, they've been doing really well. Um, I made a pair, and I've been wearing them around. And the only problem I have is I need to put stuff on the back, too. Because the way they are, they flip, flip around. So, a lot. And then the white paper looks a little chintzy, so I just put... Um, one on the back like this. I have these I made. They're not. Um, so now when I wear these. These will just flippity. With glitter. And they're sealed. And they're hard. And so far they have not like shriveled up. Or whatever. You know what I mean. They have not like crumpled. Because it's paper. But it's really sealed really well. And so. Yeah. I'm hoping, hoping that that they're, that's it, right? I think that that's going to be okay. But then I got this um, firework, red, white, and blue. I'm going to make earrings with these two. And then I'm going to make those two 4th of July cards for those two ladies that ask every year. Um, no one usually buys cards for 4th of July, but these two ladies do. And, of course, American flag on the back. I'm not a big fan of this font, font, this pattern of this, but it, it, it'll do. Like, I can even punch this out and not have to worry about a background because I can have this on the back or put another firework. I like the firework, though. And look at the fireworks. Isn't that cool? I think that's awesome. Anywho, and I got two of those, and that's it. So, not a lot of paper, but enough to get my holiday juices going. We got to get them juices flowing, right? All right, my glue gun should be ready. My ear itches. But I am working on these 4th of July earrings. And I did the back. I just need a red marker, which I brought. So I can do those later. So I've got, I have gotten some flowery paper. And I don't know what to do with them. They're not cardstock. Flowery paper, and I don't know what to do with them. Flowery paper? Ooh, they're not cardstock. What are what, what kind of paper is it? Oh, they're flimsy. It's not cardstock at all. So it's like flimsy paper, like very like light paper. Yeah. Oh. Couldn't you like make something with them? Like, uh, you can make earrings, paper earrings. Hmm, I'm going to think about that. There's got to be some kind of cool thing that you could do with them. Hmm, you know what I've also seen? But I will, will, but in a crafting, right, no, yeah, but in a crafting slump. No, I totally get your crafting slump. I totally get it. You know what you can do, though? I've seen people take clothespins, like the small ones, and like the medium small ones, not the big, big ones, but the medium small ones. It was given to me by my mom. Oh, that's nice. But I've seen people, um, like, cover the tops like let's say here's a clothespin i've seen people put scrapbook paper or paper on like this part of the clothespin and then use them as in like a, as planner clips and stuff like that so that could be like a cool thing to to do with that paper and it doesn't need to be too thick for that either i just think that might be kind of cool you know as an option um,
We're going to, um, I got my wire. I need to find my heads. I've, uh, just discovered a new person. Um, wait, that's all weird. Sorry. I discovered a new person on Spotify. Um, I have no idea why I have never heard her before. Oh, wait, is this my heads? Yeah, these are my heads. I'm wondering if this would make really... I wonder if this would fit my purpose for my gnome, gnome nose. Hmm, anyway. Um, and I really like her. I, I just, I, I don't know. I think it was in a, one of those things like, uh, you know how they make a playlist for yourself? Like, uh, things that you might like, you know? And it was in the things that you would like. And I usually don't stray from, I usually don't listen to newish music, um, from different people. I mean, besides my particular genre or whatever, but she is rock and... I do like her a lot. So, so I'm kind of excited about it. So I've been nonstop listening. Yeah, YouTube does that for me all the time. I don't find anything that, I don't find anything that way. Oh, you don't? Some, it's very rare though. A lot of them, I'm like, I already know this song. I already know this song. I already know this one. It's nothing new. But, this group, or this, I think she's a group. Um, I do like her. So I've been kind of like listening, like, I put clicked on her name, and i just been listening to it, like, not, like, whatever comes up from her. So I'm actually, I, I actually like her. And then whatever people suggest to me. I love hearing what people suggest. And then... And then sometimes they make it into my playlist. Like, I have a crafting playlist that, like, I um, want to get, like, things from other people. You know, like, re like if people request something or they want me to listen to something and I end up liking it, um, if it goes into my playlist, you all know that it's, like, bomb to me. You know what I mean? If it doesn't hit the playlist, that means it's like, okay. You know what I mean? Um. And the, a few a few things that people suggested to me have gone into that playlist. I do. It's yeah. I have a crafting one. So it's what I usually. I need more music though. I need more in that. Um, <laughs> I only have not so many songs. I need like a lot. My issue is I got one stuck in my head for days, and I to it for days some songs over it. I know right that's my problem too that's my that is exactly the same problem I have as well oh my gosh oh uh, let me see what color should we okay mermaid 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 should be vibrant right let's make her vibrant Shall we make her vibrant, guys? Oh, yeah. See, here's my beards. I've got black, this color, this color. This might be a cool beard for a grud for the mini gnome. Uh, let me think here. Let's see. All right. I've got thread. Do you, like, sing for it for hours and hours and hours, like, over and over and over again? Like, like for weeks? Or is it just, like, for, like, a couple of days? All right. Oh, I've been looking for this wire, dude. Oh, I've been looking for this, too. Ooh, 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 ooh. A week at mo oh, a week at most. Okay, okay. Mine sometimes has gone for months, which is not like 
not fun. Ooh, wait, we should do, um, okay. But I do, uh, do listen to others' songs, but the ones that won't get out of my head. Yeah, yeah. And also, like, have you ever, have you ever, have you guys ever had, like, commercials, like, old commercials stuck in your head? Like, there'll be days that I'd be singing the same damn commercial, and you're like, oh, why? And, like, this stuff is not even around anymore. What is she? She must be listening to something. I'm lucky I I have not had that. Oh, you are lucky. Oh, man. Anytime we want to switch, I would be more than happy to give you my commercials. <laughs> Lately, the commercial that has been stuck in my head. Now, don't shoot me, guys. Don't come after me if this gets stuck in your head. <laughs> Do you remember the commercial... Um, mommy, wow, I'm a big kid. <laughs> just that part, just that part, nonstop, nonstop, over and over. Glitch gets mad at me, because I've been telling her, I'm like, oh, mommy, wow. Because <laughs> there's just certain things that she's, like, doing or showing me, and I'm like, oh, mommy, and I just sing that to her, and she's like, back it off. I don't know why, but that one is literally stuck in my head. Like, almost to the point where I'm like, like, I need a new one. And then, like, the next one that comes up is like, where's the beef? <laughs> it's like, stop. I need it stop now. Like, right now. But here we are. You know what I mean? What what commercials do you guys remember? What is your favorite commercials that get stuck in your head? Not your favorite, but which ones? Um, when you think of old commercials, what pops in your head? Like, what ones pop in your head? I'd love to know. The song called A Demon Fate by has been in my head for two weeks. Oh, that's a good song. I like that song. I love Within Temptation. That is a really good song. I think that's actually on my playlist. To be honest. <laughs> and it is a catchy song. Like, it, you can easily get it in your head quick. And nice and easy. Okay, so should I go Authentic Mermaid? Like, green fin. Different color flower. And then a whatever color top. Should I go with that, or should I venture out into doing some odd color fins? I feel like I should do traditional fins. I enjoyed the Coca-Cola Christmas. Oh, with the polar bears. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my geez, yes. Although... Although, like, and I like, yeah, the one part where they're like, and they go, and they're like, and then you hear, you see the little, the little, um, the air, like you're breathing air, um, cold air, breathe out as they like exhale. Yeah, it's so cute. I like the one with the, the one with, where they were in the window. And then they like they uh, wipe the window down like this, and they're peeking in. I just got the the light bright commercial. Oh, hey! I was doing that the other day. Light bright, light bright. Turn on the color of magic light. <laughs> I sang that in the aisle. I think I saw like the mini light bright that they have at the store. I was in on the grocery store or in the toy aisle because I was looking for toys for my nieces and nephew my niece and nephew because i'm heading down there to visit them and i wanted to see if i can pick up a little something something for them um but what, what i'm to bring down with me and and then that and then i like saw the corner of my eye a light bright i was like 
Oh, I had a life right. <laughs> and I would get so frustrated. Tell me, okay, if you guys had light bright, tell me what your favorite, your frustrating part about it. My frustrating part about light bright was when you popped in all of, you know, you put the, you laid the paper out, and then had the little like white whatever to poke whatever color peg in there, and then one bump and all of them come flying out, and you're like. And of course, you don't know what colors were in there because the pop, the 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 little W for white, pink, whatever, already got punched, so you don't know what colors they were in your liver. <laughs> yeah, that was like, ooh, they got me mad so many times. But like, don't touch anything, do not move. Also, there uh, there is the frogs in the. Oh, that's my favorite and I, I don't like beer either but that is like my ultimate favorite Budweiser commercial the frog bud why sir <laughs> it's like my ultimate favorite they did that one so every other one cannot compare to that one in my book and they've had some good ones over the years but that one was just like the best Yeah, mine, wa mine was, I lost the lights. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally feel you there, too. Man, like, oh, gosh. And then, like, oh, my nose itches like crazy. Um, I don't know if it's allergies or what, but my nose be singing a different tune right now. Oh, okay, mermaid, 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 mermaid. We need to think about mermaid. Ooh, this blue would be really cute for, um, like a, ooh, or this green. Which one? Blue or green? I'm trying to find a hair color. And should I keep the fins green? I probably should keep the fins green, right? Oh, yeah, and then, like, the cool man. Not cool man. Kool-Aid man. The Kool-Aid guy. That was, the <laughs> that commercial is in my head. But yeah, oh, light bright. I love light bright. I used, I, I, I did it quite a bit. And then you would get the blank sheets where you can make your own design. Yeah, that turn always turned out into a nightmare. But it was fun, nonetheless. And then I would like try to keep it on at night, you know, um, so that like it, I could see it at night. And uh, my mom would be like, no, you got to turn that off because it'll ruin your sleep if you have light on. I don't know how it ruins my sleep, but hey, whatever. It's like a nightlight, right? I still to this day don't understand how it would ruin my sleep. But if anybody has any light, let me know. Get it? You see what I did there? <laughs> Any light bright? <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't quit my day job, right? All right, let's see. We're going to do green. I feel like, okay. This might be a good green. Would this be a good green for a fin? I think so. If we're going to stay traditional. um, What color shirt? What would go good with this green then? I feel like, or should we do knee slap? <laughs> yeah, I know. Grab your partner, dosi dos. Time to knee slap. Here we go. <laughs> Which would be a good mermaid fin? Dark green or light green? This one's a little lighter. This one's a little darker. Like when we lost power last night, I was actually going to stream um, uh, at night. Like, I was going to actually stream in the dark, just, like, chit-chat, because um, I, it was too dark to do anything. Even crocheting, it would it would have never showed up. But I thought, like, if I could stream chit-chat, that would be kind of a cool thing to do, like, power outage chit-chat or whatever. But my candle was not burning right. And it was so not, like, bright at all. It And I was like, you know what? 
I think people are going to get irritated <laughs> more than anything. So it's like, okay, all right, we're not going to do it. I'm just going to skip it. I was going to. I was trying. And I was just like, eh, no. Although I think it would be kind of fun, though, to do something like that. You know, that's how my um, candlelight um, crochets happened. That's how that's how that became about is because I lost power and I was streaming. And it's just perfect because if you get a brighter candle, bright enough candle, which I usually I do, but I think my wick is like going bad on this one or something. And, you, and it brightens up like a lot. And then you could just have that like kind of like that like comfy cozy almost one like I don't know you know what I'm saying one-on-one -on -one, kind of like mood or whatever Maybe I should do purple. To, uh, I feel like that's too much like Ariel. I'm not trying to do an Ariel, guys. I don't want to do an Ariel. Maybe I should do... Maybe I should do a nasty pink. <laughs> I hate pink. Um, Pink and green fin. I think that's what we're going to do. I just don't know what color hair should I do. Her. It's a mermaid, right? It should be fun. So would this mermaid hair be cute? That could actually be cute because it's like picks up eh, that might be too much i might have to change this then from pink or i might change the hair color or it can just stick with brown black or white or yellow what y'all think i'm just a chatty kathy tonight i'm sorry um <laughs> i guess chatty kathy is being is good though right we like the chat. We, we, we like the chat. We like the chat. We like, we like the chat. I could do purple. Purple hair. Green, purple, and pink. Does this go well together? I don't know. And then I gotta figure out, um, I gotta figure out flowers. Because the fin has to be the flower. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, this would be really pretty for the hair. Look at that. I might end up doing this, this, and maybe this purple for a shirt. Like, to kind of match my shit. You know what I mean? Uh, so what about this color? Uh, no, we can do it this one. Yeah, we're gonna match. I think that one might be cute. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. Is that gonna be all right? Okay, we're gonna do it this. This is going to be the hair color, and this is the shirt. all right okay we're gonna do this okay here we go guys let's try to figure out this mermaid shall we i do want to make more mermaids so i want to make a couple i don't i've only got one and i think she's too thin i feel like i need to make her waist a little more like boom she needs to be a nice and curvy ish. Cause see, let me see if I can. Oh gosh, she's in here somewhere. I hope. 
I mean, she's cute to boot. I mean, you know, she's cutie patootie, but I feel like she needs a little bit of hip or a little bit of something. And then I got to make a little more of my little guy gnomes. My little guy, uh, well, the hat is off, but my little bearded fairies, aren't they cute? That's my one of my newer ones, too. Oh. He's a doorbell. Ding, ding. Okay, I'm trying to see. Oh, yeah, here's the one. This is what we're going to do, too. This is my one patriotic fairy that I have. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola body. <laughs> Can't beat the real thing. Okay. Alrighty. We're going to do this. I'm going to try to find I, somewhere in here. Oh, look at all these fairies, guys. Does anybody want one? <laughs> Jeez, I tell you. Oh, she's cute. I forgot about her. Oh, I'm going to be pulling out my Christmas and July ones soon, too. She should be in here, my mermaid one. Coca-Cola classic. Can't beat the real thing. Oh, and another commercial I got in my head is the Pringle commercial. Once you pop, you can't stop. Mm -mm -mm. I can think of so many other things for that one. Pop, you can't stop. Oh, yeah, here. I found her. <laughs> Once you pop, you can't stop. You get my drift. I know you do. I know you do, guys. Oof. All of them fairies. Look at all these fairies. They need to be gone. Okay. All right, so I got... One patriotic fairy. What is she doing on the floor? Miss Hazel. That's Miss Hazel. Oh, okay. Uh, girl. <laughs> you gonna make me start down the pathway. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Uh, don't y'all miss me? Look at okay. So you see what I mean? It's she's really she's really cute, but I feel like she's really thin. Like I feel like she needs to like like I started over here. Like I needed a wrap maybe a little more or maybe move her thin a little more out like this and then down. Yeah, see, it's too thin. She's cute to boot, right? I mean, she's very cute, but I think she is a little too thin. So this is what I'm trying to figure out, like, um, what to do. Any ideas? This is the part that I'm trying to... Um, I did do one... Is she around? Oh, yeah, she's around. I did her. She needs <laughs> to eat. I know she needs more to eat for sure. But and this this is my other mermaid and it's I love the way they are, but like I said, the work amount of work to get this is like I'm trying to cut it back. So here's my other mermaid. So, I mean, it's it's pretty. I love it, but I I just need to I need to find a happy medium. Do you know what I mean?
So the top is fine. I'm just worried about, I'm just, the fin is what I'm, what I want a medium fin. Thicker yarn. Um, no, I use embroidery thread, but I can probably keep wrapping it to make it thicker, right? And I might actually end up making, like, maybe cutting a little piece of wood, like, not wood, like a little piece of cardboard or chipboard or something to, like, make a little form to fit in there, like, around. So it's, like, just a little bit, you know what I mean? I just need it to go a little out and then down, you know? So, I mean... I love this. Like I said, this one is beautiful. I just need it to be there a one that's in between. But let me get her hair and head going. Have you guys any seen anybody? Uh, let me talk proper English now, should I? Has anybody seen the second Sonic yet? Who would like Cutie to speak normal English? Raise your hand. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, that ain't my style, I guess. Normal? Who's normal here? No, I'm not a movie. You're not a movie person? Aw. Okay, that's cool. Everybody got their thing, right? So what would be your thing then, Adasa? Besides, like, crafting or what? Or, uh... Ooh, okay. Because I want to, um, I'm going to take a glitch to the movies, and she wants to see it. And I was just kind of curious on what, if anybody has seen it and what they think about it. I didn't see the first one yet. I should probably watch the first one before I watch the second one, to be honest. I just need to figure out where I can find it at. Is it on any of the streaming sites? Do you know? I don't think so. I haven't seen Sonic 2. I haven't gone to the to the theaters. Oh, okay. The, the one time I was in the theater was just recently, and I saw, like... In a long time, for like three years, <laughs> um, I saw Lost City with Sandra Bullock and what is it, Tatum guy? What's his name? Tatum something Tatum? Shane Tatum? Shannon Tatum? Don Tatum? Tatum? <laughs> Olivia Tatum? I have no idea what his name is. <laughs> I know his last name is Tatum though, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. You finally saw Lost City? How did you like it? Did you like it? I liked it. Yeah, she's she's good, isn't she? She does really well. I, I love her type of acting. She's got like that, I don't know if it's dry humor, but she's got that like, I don't know. I just I just like her personality. You always had a crush on her. Join the club. There is a 50,000 million probably people who have crushes on her. Oh, you know what's so weird? You want to know what's so weird? Because, you know, like, we grew up with, well, I grew up with Sandra Bullock, right? Speed, whatever the one of her first few movies that she's done, like, um, and, like, there was a... Um, a kid in a line in the movies, and they're like, who is she? And I was like, 
And I'm like, oh, it's so sad. They don't really know her that, like, I, well, I feel, I don't know her personally, obviously, but, like, you know, you grow up with these actors and actresses in your house while watching these movies, and you're like, you know what I mean? Like, you've seen them grow up and get older and whatever. Her outfit in that movie was horrific. Horrific. However, I did like the sparkle. Gotta, you know, gotta hand it off to the sparkle. But that onesie part dress outfit has got to go. I was literally in the, in in the theater like this. Oh my gosh, that! Oh, oh, uh. but I thought it was interesting. I I actually uh, brought the movie. I had to. I just had to, you know? Hello! How are you, Dark Moon? What is up? How are you? What are you up to? How's it hanging? Should I do a how's it hanging? <laughs> I'm sorry. That was funny. You cracked myself up. I should probably add that to my repertoire. <laughs> you're good. I'm glad you're good. Anything new with you? This head is not going in. I think her head, her hair is like too... Okay. Oh. 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 Oh no, do I not know have my ruler shoes? Crazy on you. I go crazy on you. Oh shoot. I need a ruler. What do you guys think? So what are you up to, Dark Moon? Anything new and fabulous going on in your life? Anything you want to dish and tell me? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I need a ruler, guys. Of course. I hate when I do this. I know where it is. It's right out in the living room. Because I've been sewing up a storm. I don't know if anybody... Uh, I made... Um, oh, I don't have it here with me. Darn it. Um, I made a little um, card ID pouch that hooks to your keychain. Um, the stitching is not the greatest yet, but I'm working on it. I've done tw two of them already, and the second one is better. So I feel like the third one is going to be even better once I get it down. Um, I've been trying to use up my scraps and learn the sewing machine. Um, I found out that I did zippers very wrong. And I don't have a zipper foot. So, I'm going to have to figure out how to get one of those. And then, um, been making a lot of keychain things. Because why not, right? Who doesn't like keychain things? But I'm going to go down for a minute. I'm going down. Oh, if you have a phone handy, they have ruler apps. Yeah, but they're not accurate. You can't measure something with it. <laughs> I'm going down, down, and, you know, you know, going down, swinging. Okay. But I'm going to try to do it with this. I hate doing it with this, this ruler thingy. 
I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But come on. It is what it is. And I'm not going to pause the video just or the video. The stream why I go run and get a ruler. Okay. Kinky down. <laughs> Whatever rocks y'all boat. No, I'm just kidding. Sinks your ship. Float the... Never mind. I'm done. Uh... Okay, it's like right here. And so I need it right here. Okay, there we go. I need to do it behind. Because where do we need to do it? From behind, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, this is nice, right? Let's hope she comes out all right, because, like I said, I'm a little skeptical. Ouch. Okay. All right. So now we've got this. So this is going to be her body. What do we like to do? Could you bulk her up with wire? Yeah, see that's the part, like, I was gonna add, like with the other mermaid I have, I added another piece of wire to it, but I feel, I mean, like, the, the wire went up in price, and I'm trying to keep my price down, because I don't want to raise my fairy prices or mermaid prices or any of like that sort of thing. So I'm trying to keep the cost down. Um, so I was trying to figure out if I could just do it with the one wire. Does that make sense? I need her to have... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's up to your imagination, Darth. You can you can have whatever you want in your imagination. <laughs> you can have. Have you seen um Shallow Hell? I think it's Shallow Hell. You know how he had those blind, like it felt like he had those blinders on, and he's seen her as this beautiful thing. That could be you with this mermaid. <laughs> Snitch. No. Oh, for the those of you who play in my Minecraft world. My uh my realm is back up. I didn't know it expired. I thought I had it on like repeat, like on like um what is it called? Um auto like pay, you know what I mean? So it doesn't like close up. But I guess I didn't have that on there. So but now it's up and running. Everything's updated. 
So if anybody want to play with me, not in a dirty way, play Minecraft with me, you know, you're more than welcome to join my uh, realm. I am, uh, I am trying not to allow myself to hyper focus and clean to prepare and then stay up all night and then not be able to enjoy actually having a tiny demanding old dog. Clean to prepare for what? What are you cleaning to prepare for? If you don't mind me asking. And then stay up all night and not be able to enjoy. Oh, yeah. I've got a demanding little old dog, too. But it was just my imagination running away with me. Just my imagination. <laughs> Didn't think I knew that one, did you? No, but I got you. Babysitting my sisters. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Arch, arch well, I can't never say it right. And I'm going to say it the way I always say it. Chihuahua. Well. I don't, don't come at me, but, um, we have one that's in diapers. We have to put diapers on him because he can't control his bladder. And he's like 12 years old, I think, 12 years old. Okay, so we're going to do it. Okay, here's, I'm going to flatten like that. Okay. I need my, I really need to get my ruler. Ooh. I think it looks about right. Let me do one more. Okay, there we go. And then I was thinking of doing kind of like this. Oh, wait, I need to make that even, don't I? Because that would be helpful. Can't have one fin higher than the other. Hoisting again a Margaritaville. Okay. See, what I was thinking of doing was like, like this, guys. And then, like, do, like, a little zippity-doo-dah, zippity-a over here. What do you think about that? Because this is what I was trying to, I was going to, because this part will be where the flower is. But this will be where the fin is. <clears throat> do we like that? See, if I put thread around it, I don't think this is going to stay. So that's why I need something probably inside, right, to help making it firm. That might work. Chihuahua uh, always makes me think of Taco Bell and the uh, legal blonde. <laughs> Legally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know you exactly, exactly what you mean. Paper? Yeah, paper or do I have any? I have cardboard. I could do cardboard. Chipboard, cardboard. I do have a box that I can rip up and do. But I feel like that might be the best option because they have to keep the form, right? Pint size, how are you? Welcome in. I hope you're fabulous. We have a beagle mix and a chirat terrier mix. Did I say that right? Probably not. Um, but we lost our 13-year-old in February. Oh, I'm so sorry. And my sister's chihuahua is 
far healthier at 13. We are not ready for another dog, but babysitting would be nice. Yeah, I get you. I totally get that. My family dog, we had a family dog growing up, and it was a Beagle Dachshund mix. So cute. But damn, that thing, that thing was like, because they're, I think they're naturally like hunters. Like they have that like, that hunting, you know, chasing. So literally my dog would like fly out from the, like when we opened the door to let him go out in the backyard, her go in the backyard. We had a hill growing up. Our backyard had a double hill in it. So like sledding was awesome during that time because you didn't have to really go anywhere. You just go in your backyard. But the dog would like almost skip that first hill. It would like try and run up the halfway up the tree trying to get the dang blasted squirrel. It was so funny. It was funny to watch daily. Um, still moving files over to Cricut Design Space. I'll get I'll get through all of it them eventually. Oh, that sucks. Oh my God. Oh, Alistair, are you hungry today? Hey. Did you see that, guys? He must be hungry. Our beagle is super mellow. We have to bribe her with food to play or, or, or. Nice. But it's nice to have a mellow beagle. My be my beagle dachshund was not mellow. She was anything but mellow. <laughs> we ain't calling her mellow yellow. At first, that's for sure. I brought bundles so they have a few hundred. Oh, damn. Holy shiitake mushrooms, pint size. That's a lot. A quiet beagle. A quiet beagle? Oh, I wish our beagle was quiet. But she's long gone, sadly. She was a good dog, though. Give it a little twist down here. Maybe that might help. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure this out, guys. Be right back. All right. Sounds good. Now the rat terrier to Ella is freaking insane. Oh, oh yeah. I swear she barks at squirrels. <laughs> Wow, that's, yeah, wow. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. I cannot imagine. <laughs> oh, that's so great. I don't want her too wide. I don't need her too hippie. All right, so this would, would be the flower. What do you think of this, guys? Like, does that look like a good shape for a mermaid fin? Kind of, sort of. Um, and I am going to grab a piece of um, cardboard, I think. Wait, what is this? Oh, chipboard. This is excellent. There's my chipboard. That looks good. Thanks. Because we, we've decided that this is too thin. She's too thin of a mermaid. So I needed her to be a little more bulkier in the fin department. But um, but thinner uh, but thinner than this width. So I'm trying to find a happy medium using one wire. This had like two or three wires in there. And this had one wire. And this has one wire, so I'm trying to do one without with one wire. Does that make sense? <laughs> she needs that thick thin. I know, right? <laughs> she needs a little something something down below and down the trunk, you know? She needs some junk in the trunk. <laughs> All right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace inside here. Okay. 
So do you think we all agree that this is like a good size for her? Mm. Which would be why her name may be Blondie Girl, but we call her Dragon Squirrel. Oh, that makes sense. That looks like a good size. That's what I'm hoping. And then I would just glue this in here and then we can cover that with thread. That way it keeps its shape, hopefully. That's my idea anyway. I don't know if it will work that way, but that's my idea. You know what this looks like. It doesn't look right, does it? it looks like a fish. If you go this way. It looks like a light bulb this way or something else. But I'm not going to say what. Cheers. Mm. Anywho. Okay, I need some skinage. Let me have some skinage. Oh. Glad you saw the light bulb because I certainly didn't. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do that with clouds, guys? Where's my. I need to change my music again. You know, um, sorry, I got distracted by my music. Um, have you ever do that with clouds where like you look up in the sky and you think you saw something like whether it be like a um, heart, star, horse, dragon, whatever the heck they may be that your eyes see. And then someone you ask them, like, do you see that thing in the sky? And they're like, no, but they see it as something different. That's like what this looks like to me. Has that type of thing. All the time, yeah. Like the other day, I saw... It looked like a... It wasn't a great... It wasn't a appropriate part. I saw, right? It was, it was an inappropriate... Well, it was in a part that was not, like... <clears throat> you get my jest, right? <laughs> it was a male part. <laughs> there and uh and then it like i i was like hey do you see i say look look what it is and then uh, and then next thing you know like this cloud moved and then it had like this like it turned into something different i was like it totally looked totally different like within a second like it was it ended up being like a hat so it looked like a, you know, what with a hat on it. I was like, it, it was funny. It was totally funny. And then it changed shape altogether and it ended up looking like a horse. But yeah, it was funny. Um, we had a shower curtain with tree branches. I would stare, stare it when, wait, I would stare it when washing my hair and look for pictures. <gasps> Ah, oh, I've done that too sometimes with certain shower curtains. Like your eyes play tricks and all that. Or for marbled like tile stuff. Yes. No, I totally get you. A hundred percent to. Oh, did you notice her hair was in a heart shape? I... Huh. 
See, there we go. Your own very own picture right there. <laughs> um, I need my skin. I need some skin. I need some skin. Right here. I should have some extra skinage laying around, but I don't know where it is. <clears throat> Ready? All the things she said, all the things she said. Okay. Let's hope this hair is not going to mess with me. <clears throat> that's the one thing that bothers me, like doing them, doing the hair because it like gets in my way. So I'm going to just knot it up like this and I think it'll be fine. Oops. Yeah, that really worked really well, didn't it? Okay. What would you do? Okay. So the burning question for tonight is, which is your favorite? Help me decide. You like fairies, mermaids, or gnomes? Which ones are your favorite? What What, what is the ruling on it? What do you guys think? What is your opinions? Let a girl know. Okay, um, I need to do it like this because we're going to do it like this. We had to fix this too, but I just need to do this way. Okay, there you go. Or do you not like any of them? Oh. No opinions, no comments, no answers, no questions. No burning desires to find out if you're a fairy, a gnome, or a mermaid. Sorry, went to get some sn Ooh. Snacks. What kind of snacks did you get? Oh, do tell. Um, uh, fairies, mermaids, or gnomes? Which ones? Help me decide which one's the best. I don't know. I've always, I know I've always loved mermaids ever since I was very, very little. I got some popcorn. I popped the other day, sli slightly stale, but uh, it's food, right? I get you. I feel you there. Oh, I love popcorn, though. You're killing me, killing me. Okay, we're going to just do it like this. I think either fairies or mermaids haven't thought of, of it much, so no preference. Gotcha. I got you. I, um, always been a mermaid girl. Like, I literally... 
Honestly, when I was from the time I was little, always thought I was an actual mermaid. Just because, you know, I love them that much. And being an ocean, like an ocean baby, like literally grew up by the ocean and water, like a beach baby. Um, I, you can kind of see how that would come about. You know what I mean? Breathe in, breathe out. Oops. This is why I don't want to do hair with that hair. But yeah, I've always thought, like, I think maybe because it was because I was on the beach most of my whole life. Maybe that's why. But yeah, I always thought I was a mermaid. But I also loved fairies, too. Because there's something so, like, magical about them. You know what I mean? And when you're a kid, like, I had, like, an imagine, imaginary friend. Like, most kids, I know most kids have imaginary friends. Mine was a fairy, though. Her name was Lala. <laughs> Uh, but obviously I don't have Lala as a friend anymore because <laughs> I grew up, but you know, but I do remember having an imaginary friend. Has any of you had imaginary friends or not willing to share? Loved the Little Mermaid when growing up, but when I grew up, was kind of eh about it. I was, uh, oh, weathering diving distance of the beat. Oh, wow, but wasn't a fan for some reason. Always prefer mountains. Mountains are really pretty, though. Yep, always had an imaginary friend growing up. You did? What was yours? And do you remember yours name? Or what, what it was? Mine definitely was a fairy. And then I also had a mouse, a um, imaginary mouse friend named Scooter. Because it became about like how I got the imaginary mouse friend as, named Scooter because I read Mouse in a Motorcycle. So like that kind of gave, that's what started that like imaginary friend. I don't remember people's names. It's just meant. I just meant. <laughs> that's a funny. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's funny as heck. <laughs> oh, man. That is not what I want to do. Okay. There we go. I remember having the Barbie house and, be, and being so annoyed that there was no stairs. So my five or six year old solution was she went to bed each night wishing to be upstairs, then went to bed Wanting to be downstairs. <laughs> That's cute. 
Yeah, the Barbie Dream House didn't have stairs, did it? Because, um, I don't remember having it have stairs. Okay, I'm going right back up here, and we're gonna end it with the skinage. I had a different. I don't know if I actually. I didn't have the bar. I know my friend had the Barbie Dream House, um, and I was at my friend's house a lot, so that's why I don't remember it having stairs. But um, we have the Fisher Price. Um, the that that playhouse thing, um, by Fisher Price. I can't remember what the heck the name of it was. Uh, what was it? It's now it's gonna bother. I'm gonna have to look it up because it's gonna bother me. Okay, we're going to glue this. Her skin is done. We're not spreading her today. She's got no legs to spread. I hate this fucking... I need new scissors. Um, anyway... Fisher Price. Let me see. It was a Fisher Price dollhouse. I'm gonna have to look. It's this Saint Love. Then how do we get out? Oh wait, nineties. Was in the nineties. All right, I'm trying to look and see which one was it. Is this it? No, that's not it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, was it this one? Looks like this. Oh, yeah, it was this one. Um. Oh, it was a play school toy, not a Fisher Price. For some reason, I thought it was Fisher Price. But it was this dollhouse. I'm going to show you. Can you see it? I will post a picture on um I'll, Yeah, I'll post a picture in um uh somewhere. <laughs> To show so you guys can see it better, I'll post a picture. But we had like every year, like every holiday, yes, in Discord. What did I say? Did I say Discord? I did not say Discord, did I? <laughs> but every, um, Fancy, like every like holiday or whatever, I would have like, um, like I would get a new piece for it. You know, like it was with um, because I had three sisters, so like it was all of ours. You were like me and said that thing. Oh, 
In my head, I know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Everything is a thing or thingy to me. I know, right? We like them thingies, though. But every, like, holiday, we would get another piece added to the dollhouse. That was, like, our our thing. Um, I'm trying to think of where would I post this. Um, every day, probably every day. No. Everyday life. No, I don't think so. I'll just do it in chit chat, but I'm going to post it here. I I made the I made the channels and I'm like, what post this? Like I could go for different things, you know? I don't know. All right, it's posted, guys. So if you wanted to actually see it a little better. But yeah, I do the exact same thing. Everything is a thingy. All right, we're going to glue this. It is rough at times thinking of where things go for the channel. I know, right? And you're the one who created it? It's like, dude, where do you want to go? Oh. Well, you lose it. Everything. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. We're going to glue this thin part down. Okay. Where am I? How did you do? Is anybody good at baking over on this right now? Anybody good at baking? I just got mine made a few weeks ago. I was super intimidated by it, so I just had a couple of channels up. Oh, that's awesome! It it can be overwhelming. I started out with like just basics. You're kind of good at baking. Do you, um, what about, like, using, like, piping, like, um, like, like the different, um, thingies, the different, um, tips, <laughs> like the, the tips, like, that makes, like, the stars or the little whatever, the, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about with the piping bags and then the little tippy things and the uh, whatchamacallits and hoo has and ding dings and what a what a bing dings. <laughs> I don't know. Nope, can't pipe. I suck at it so much. Okay. I was trying to see if you, anybody knew of an easier method, like how to, because I was making meringue cookies the other day, like yesterday, before my power went out. I was making meringue cookies, and I got the meringue all whipped and nice and beautiful. Um, I'm back, dog. Dog needed out. All right, oh, that's cool. Welcome back. Um, so I wanted, like, I made meringue, the little meringue cookies. Uh, things and so everything is whipped everything is right and then I put it in the piping bag and because you're supposed to like do like a little like a little doop doop you know because they're supposed to be like a little round little doop doodle loops and it did not 
it did not do well. Like, I don't think I know the idea of the, um, um, how to do it. Is there like a technique that you need to learn for the tips and the bags and all that? Or is it like just practice? I don't, I don't know. I like, I, I feel like I'm awkward with it and it just doesn't like turn out nice. I don't know. I'm sure it takes some type of skill and practice also, but I'm wondering if like, you know, like if there's a tip or trick that I could. There is, but the best way is you squeeze from the top of the pie bag. Um, I know for that there's a technique for putting it in and squeezing it since you will you will lose the air. Okay. Oh, so will will putting it in the bag make it the meringue go flat faster? Because it wasn't, not that it was deflated, but it did lose a lot of its peakness, if that makes sense. I mean, it's the first time I made them. So, like, literally, like, in all fairness, like, first time trial. But I would like to perfect this, because they're really good. And I made it orange flavored. Mm. It was so good. Oh. Um. When you whip it. It has a little air pockets in it, so if you aren't careful, it will not be floofy, okay? Could be whipped. You have to whip them for a long time. Not enough whipped. Yeah, I felt like I, okay, I whipped it for not enough. Um, I whipped it for, I started, okay, so what I did was I, Room temperature to egg. I vinegared the bowl to make sure it was very clean. Um, I put the eggs and whites in, and um, I started the 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 machine, the uh, blender uh, thing, um, at like low to medium, and then I did a um, pinch of salt. I didn't have cream of tartar, though. I wonder if that was my issue, if I didn't have the cream of tartar. So I skipped the cream of tartar part. And then um, I did one-fourth a teaspoon at a time of a one-half cup of sugar. That does help a lot. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need to get the cream of tartar then. Um, so I literally spooned one-fourth teaspoon out of the half a cup of sugar that I had to put in there one fourth at a time. It took forever, but you know, like I thought like doing it slowly would help and then make it not so grainy and make it more smooth. And so I did that. And as the thing was still going though. So, and then I um, let it um, whip it. Like I let it, i turned it up high and did that for like about eight to 10 minutes. So I don't know if that was enough or not. I guess it matters by by looking, right? I mean, yeah, I just need the cream of tartar. So that was enough time, you think? But it did deflate, and I know you have to work fast. Yeah, you good. Okay. And then I add my flavor, like my um, orange flavoring, and then I dyed it orange, you know, because, you know, I'm a suck stickler for, like, whatever flavor, you know, you have to kind of sort of match the color. I don't know why. It's just one of those things, I guess. Okay, so we got this. Uh, 
her hair is like literally everywhere. Okay. All right, this is where we're gonna do the green, the green fin. We're gonna do it above. I wonder, no, cause she's gonna wear a belly shirt, so. Yeah, I'm good, okay. Cause I was just, you know, I wanted to do something different and try to do something easy and fun to do so far okay we're gonna do it about does that look like a good spot to start the fin i think that's good or do i need to make it higher mm, maybe one more go one more up higher okay What do you think, guys? I feel like I need to uh, do a little bit of glue on here. Just in case it needs to, like, what do we think of this so far? I hate when this happens. Wonder if I got glue on it. Yeah, you good. Okay, hold on a second. Do you want to go to heaven tonight? Okay. Wanted to glue that down because I uh, made a mistake on this. This is not going well for me. Do you want to go have a night? Okay, there we go. That one's done. Oops. So what do you think, guys? I hate when this happens. I don't want to have to take it out, but I'm going to have to. I have a feeling I'm going to have to. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to cut it. I wonder what it looks like with the on there. Let's see. Is it going to be up in the front? It is going to be in the front, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I can't really do anything about that, can we? Um, yeah, bomber, right? Oh, I hate when this happens. I'm gonna have to cut it. Kind of stinks. Okay, there we go.
We'll just start from there, I guess. Uh, hello, Raiders. How are you? Welcome in. Wise Wolf, what are you up to? What were you streaming? The Wise Wolf. Welcome in. I'm Steampunk Cutie. How are you? I was reading tonight. I usually crochet, though. Oh, nice. What were you reading tonight? And what kind of things do you crochet? And welcome in. Thank you for the raid. I'm doing good. Hope all is well here tonight as well. It is. It's going pretty good. Thank you for asking. I'm making a mermaid. Did that not totally not do it anything? It did not do anything, did it? Shoot. Welcome in. It's good to have you here. Okay, let's see. So what kind of things do you crochet? Uh, the first book in the House of of Night series, a book called Marked. I crocheted, oh, dice uh, bags. Oh, nice, and scarves usually. I have them also made pot holders and currently working on an octopus beanie. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds so cool. House of Night series. So is it good so far? Like, what, what kind of um, um, type of book is that? Like, is it like a fantasy, a, what kind of, I might have to look that up, actually. I'm always looking for a good book to read or listen to, one of the two. Dice bags, that's cool. I love making pot holders. They're one of my favorite things to make. Um... I'm trying to learn how to do a turtle. It's not coming out so good so far. Because <laughs> I can't see my stitches. So, so I think because the yarn I'm using is like that plush yarn. And I, and I have a hard time seeing the stitch. So I don't even know if it looks okay. Um, so it's like driving me insane. So like I went back to the, st the store. And went to look for a not as fluffy stuff, uh, fluffy plush yarn. Um, and that seemed to be a little better, but it's still hard. I like, I, I don't know. I've never made an, I never made an actual critter animal or anything of that sort before. Cause I usually stick with baby blankets and, um, like small things, hat, blanket. You know, things like that. Yes, I have read it before. It's a young, oh, young adult fantasy series about vampires. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, it sounded familiar. Like, I've seen it in the bookstores, but I have not actually read it. Well, that's good. I like young adult fantasy books.
I don't know what's up with my thread tonight. Have you guys noticed that my thread is a little wonky? Like, seriously. Like, I don't know what the deal of it is. Hey, Siri, next song. When it comes to Emigrami, I stick to the pattern. I can't freehand that. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I got you. I stick to I stick to my patterns too for sure. Um but I thought a turtle would be really simple to do. You know what I mean? I honestly thought like a turtle would be easy. And from the looks of it, it looks super easy, but when I actually get into it, I'm like, huh? What? Why? Why? What? 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 What is this? <laughs> I have that like uh, a deer in a headlight kind of look. You know what I mean? But I see other people do it with such ease, and it's like, oh, I wish I could do that. All right, I'm gonna need to glue it a little bit because this is popping off. No, I'm not gonna hurt anymore. Uh, I highly recommend them. We just finished chapter 17 tonight. I do have VODs if you want to preview the book before making a decision on getting truly into the series. Oh, that'd be a good idea. So what do you do? Like, you just read to your people? Is that how you how you work that or like do you like open for discussion or I'm curious on how how you uh I might have to come come and visit <laughs> and see how you do it. <laughs> see, I'm not a good reader, so like I feel like I would be embarrassed I would embarrass myself because I'm not such a great reader. No, I'm not gonna hurt anymore. All right, this is like... I'm gonna just go down to here because that's where the fin's gonna go. The um, flower fin's. What I need to do. So do you do anything else? Do you play any games? Or is it just mainly um, crochet? Or do you other crafts? I'm um, just curious. Uh, yes, I am just reading. But when people are talking to me in the chat, I take a break from what I'm reading to talk to chat. I'm not the greatest reader ever, but I better. I getting better. Oh, that's good though. Do you guys like plot? Like find like, ooh, this is gonna happen next. Do you guys do something like that? Cause see, that would be me. I would be like, what do you think is gonna happen next, guys? Like I would. <laughs> I would probably be annoyingly uh, into it. Oh, Hello, Aquarius Wolf. How are you? Welcome in. How are you doing? Mm 
No, but I'm a new affiliate, so I gladly and happily take point. Oh, okay. Well, welcome to the welcome to uh, being an affiliate. You're a bit like <laughs> I was in the shower. Oh, was it a nice shower? All nice and clean and fresh. <laughs> Um, maybe I'm slow. Getting ready for bed. Oh, nice. Long day tomorrow. What do you got going tomorrow? If you don't mind me asking. Of course, you don't have to tell me either. I'm just curious. I got a long day, too, to be honest. I should also be going to bed. I have to be at work. Ooh, 7.30 comes really fast. What all time zones are you guys at? Or I should say, what time is it for you right now? That might be better. Because right now it's like 2 in the morning. Well, 2.09, but still 2. My thread is like, this is like ridiculous, guys. I'm having issues with my thread today. Yeah, it's 2 here. Okay. All right. I got work and... And stream more work. Oh, nice. Especially when you have insomnia. I'm a PS time, so it's 11.09 oh, 11, oh, for me. Oh, okay, okay. Wow. How's it, how's it to be uh, in the past still? <laughs> We're your future talking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do you, um, what do you stream, Aquarius Wolf? Maybe it's time to heal. Oh, I really wish. Ooh. It's probably not any better than two to three hours from now. We'll be. <laughs> True story. True story. And some JR. Oh, nice. Oh, is the is the gamer? Gotcha. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's cool. I'm looking into getting into more games. Um, I play Minecraft and PUBG. Not very well, my ad, but I do play PUBG. And I've been trying different games here and there. Um, ones I like, um, but I'm not that great at them at all. Like, I'm a console girl. <laughs> I like my consults, but I'm learning... Gaming on like an actual computer. I had a Mac, and gaming on a Mac was not fun and easy at all. So when I got this, a gaming computer, a laptop, um, so I've been kind of like exploring. You know what I mean? You know my magic crafting talents. It's okay. It's okay. I, I believe everybody has some type of crafting magic in them. It's just what you do with it and what you make with it. It could be in something that you do daily. It could be just writing. It could be anything. So I believe everybody has crafting magic inside of them. That's just me. Maybe it's because I'm a crafter and I want everybody to be craftier people and have that like, oh, I made this. But, you know. 
I I have a firm belief that everybody has a lot of something that makes them special and unique and that they could do. That's their own little magic. Uh, also, there is no... Excellent! Yay! Oh, thanks for the follow! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Uh, uh, also, there is no relation. Just met in a mutual stream. Oh, that's cool! Yeah, I don't have the magic down, so I'm not... <laughs> it's not magic. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Can you hear me now? Do we like this fin? Do we need to go up higher? Does her fin need to go up a little higher? I feel like it needs to go up maybe a little more. But thank you for following and being a part of my my mechanicals, the mechanical family, the mechanical family. Da -da -da -da. Have you guys seen that they're? Um, I think Netflix is bringing Adams, uh, like another type of Adams family. I think it's like Wednesday or something like that. I don't know. I saw something on something somewhere. Um, but yeah, should be interesting. And then I heard that they're doing Beetlejuice too. And I'm like, okay, that should be interesting. And I heard like, I think Brad Pitt is producing it, which I thought was a little odd. Just saying. Uh, sorry to raid and run, but I need sleeps, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your stream. Oh, uh, thank you, and thank you for your stream, or your raid. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> much, much love, and I hope to see you back, and have a great night's sleep. A piece of sky every night. All right, we're getting up there. Okay, there we go. Let me make this kind of match. Okay. What do we think of her fin, guys? Are we good with this or no? I need to make this a little... A little higher, maybe like this high. It would be good. Does she got enough junk in her trunk for this? I don't know. This thread is like bad. Like, I'm so annoyed with this thread. You have no idea. Like, look at this. Why is it shredding on me? No, stop! It's a little... Things that kill. Tear it out. Okay, we're good. I think we're good. I'm gonna dab it off. Okay, we're gonna do it like this. Over, and then we're gonna cut. Okay, there we go. Even her hair is like funky. There we go. Do we like this, guys? What do you think of this better? I need to put a shirt on her. That would be great, wouldn't it? Tearing out my brains again. All right, we're going to do this shirt because this will match her hair. 
We're going to put it on right here. Oh, this might be a different shirt for me to do. Let's see how this goes. I'll kill you once, I'll kill you again. Nope. I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, we're not doing that. But yeah. Okay. So what do you guys got going for the weekend? Anything fun or planning? Anything fun to do or anything of the sort? See, look at this thread. Everything, all my thread is like being weird right now. Here come the little lies. Wondering if my nail is actually sh shredding it or something. I don't know. I do one um sleeve. For this bathing suit top. Like this. Okay, there we go. What do you think? Oh, yeah, that'd be cute, right? Okay. Torn to pieces, a broken down. But what else is new, guys? Okay. Ah. Yeah, I hate this thread. Why is this like, this shirt is like, well, it's going to be like this. I feel like this is like, this thread is like, this thread get old. I feel like it gets old. I mean, that's how it's acting. I don't know if thread actually gets old or not. I think that's silly, but. Okay.
All right, what do we think of her so far? Does that look like a good mermaid? I'm not sure, guys. I need to get my flowers. Oh. Got my flowers. Look at all this. All right, since so she's what, purple? Do we want to try to find that purple, right? Or should we just use a different purple? Round them up, round them up. Let's go like this. State of my head. We don't know. Excellent. Zigzag. Hello, Zigzag. How are you? Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Do we want to do purple? No, that's too dark. Or do we not want to do this dark? Maybe we could find that blue. That would be cool. On the bottom of the barrel. Or no, we could always do that light purple. Round them up, round them up, let's go. What do you think, guys? Oh, we do have this blue. Oh, no, that's too dark. Yeah, that's too dark. Look at that. We don't know. Oh, who does it? Is that too? That might actually look cute. We could always do gray. What do you think? Should we gray it? Oh, jeez. All right, we're going to do this, guys. I'm not sure which one we're going to do, but should we gray? I think let's see what gray looks like. Could be fun, right? Oh, I see in red, double vision from the blood we shed. So if I did something like this, that could be really cool on this. And guess what, guys? Look at it. It's glitter. You know how I feel about my glitter. Gonna be like this. It's gonna go up here like this, and then this is gonna go down below. What do you think? Dan, I'll be dancing. Do we like that or no? Um, or do we want to do a different color, like this purple? Rest in peace. Because we could do this purple. That might be better. We could do always do this. Mm 
Oh, I might like this instead. But I'm going to cut this. So I can just slide it over the kind of like this. Oops. I can totally do like something like All right. No, I need to do it not like down like that because that looks silly. I need to do it higher, to be honest. We want to do it like this. I don't know what to do with this right now. I feel like probably need to glue it down, to be honest. Yeah. I'm going to glue it right here. All right, I'm going to do it like this. So what? So who cares? So what? Mm. Gotta make it look good, right? I mean, shoot. It's not working the way I want it to, though. Well, you can just crisscross it like this, I guess. And do it like this. This would be good. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm weak. And then we're going to do this. And I'm going to do it like this. There we go. I don't think that looks too bad. 
I just need to figure out what to do here because I feel like it needs to be split, right? Right? I think it does. Or it could just be like this, to be honest. It doesn't really need to be anything special, right? But I do need to um, cut this because I want this on top. I think this will give it that that extra, you know, that extra bling that we all want. Look at that. And then we can make this like over there like that. Right, look at that. Could just I think that's cute. I need to do it down up here. All right, guys, look at that. Oh, I don't think she'd look too bad, right? Oh, I need to do the hair. She's not finished, but. She definitely has more meat than this one does. How many of you guys like root beer floats? Who likes root beer floats? I don't. However, there is a little shack restaurant type of building down the street. They hand make their um, root beer floats. Like, like literally the root beer is made from scratch. And it is the best root beer float I've ever had. And I will never go anywhere else. And I will never drink another root beer float. That's the only one I actually drink. It is so smooth and so yummy. It is the best. And then you can also buy the root beer by the jug there. Gallon I meant. So sometimes I do that too because, oh God. I don't know what to do with her hair. She's a mermaid, right? So it's supposed to be like flowy hair, maybe, possibly. I don't know. I could just keep it down like this. Maybe that's what I'll do. Just glue it down. Oh, 
All right, everybody, drop me an emo right now. Drop me an emoji. Any emoji will do. Don't make me pull out my emojis. The emoji card. Expect it in five, four, three, two, one. And see the light. All right, let's see. This is not laying flat, so we're going to have to glue a little bit up here. You know what we could do? If I could find my seat, let me see if I could find a seashell. Because that would be perfect.